Hi YouTube, I'm Doug Jr. And I'm Doug III. And you're watching Doug, Doug and Doug, Doug Gaming. Gaming. Hey, I'm really excited. Uh, this is right after the Christmas holiday and Santa was very good to us and we got several new games this year. So we're going to do some unboxing videos over the next few weeks. Uh, none of these games are like the brand newest or anything, but to us they're new. And this first one is one I've been wanting ever since I got into gaming about a year ago. And it is... Ta-da! Mansions of Madness. I love the uh, spooky house, haunted house theme. Comes from the days when I used to watch uh, Scooby-Doo and just always have loved that kind of thing. So I have wanted this Ma Mansions of Madness second edition. It uses the app to kind of be the dungeon master, if you want to call it that, and drives the game. And I am excited about this. Never played it, but I've watched some people playing it. And I'm excited to try this myself. So, not to mention we have also gotten a request to play this. So that that's true. Will, that will be done. We, we will do a playthrough of this. Although uh, you'll have to give us a little while to <laughs> learn everything and read the rules and learn the rules. But uh, to start with, I'm just excited to see what's in the box. First of all, this is a game of exploration, mystery, and horror for one to five players. Also, the game design is by Nikki Valens. But I'm very excited about this. Fantasy Flight has uh, put this out and just, uh, I've heard great things about it. It's gotten great reviews. And so we're gonna check it out. Douglas, you wanna do the honors and rip off the wrap? Perfect. All right, <laughs> hope you enjoy that. We're gonna do it like a cooking show. It's gonna be like, and now it's done. Ding! Like that. Yeah, okay. Put it uh, in the magic oven. Should I get a knife for those two things? Nah, just, just rip it off. Like Christmas? You can do it. This is your present after You all. can do it. Hi, ah. This was my present. Yeah, but was. Okay. I, uh, although you can't play this by yourself. That is true. I hope to have somebody to play I, with. I, I'd, try, I'd try it. So I'm, eventually, eventually. I might eventually. do it by myself some, but uh, hopefully that I can get some company on this. The first two things I notice is Cthulhu and Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks a little like Ebenezer. I don't think yeah. it's actually him. Uh, uh, this is all the, uh, based on the Lovecraft uh, books series. Uh, so that, let's open it up. That new game smell. Uh, uh, yes. All right. So, first of all, a. It says stop. It says stop. And I think it's going to tell us that we need the companion app. Yes, you yes. cannot play this game without the companion app, so that's what this is telling us. I knew that. An advertisement for X-Wing, and if anybody wants to get us that game, that we will not stop you. We'd that's love it. that. Okay, All right. next. Now, the instructions here says learn to play. So we will be learning to play pretty soon. And it looks like it's got a nice artwork and it's laid out nice hopefully it's nice and clear so that I can understand it and when you guys get it you can throw that out because we will have a video out and you'll be able to watch that who needs a book when you have a video and this is it looks like a rules reference guide which yeah. is uh, more of a I don't know, like an encyclopedia you'd look up something if you had a question about something specific I don't think it's the type of thing you just read straight yeah. through yeah. but I'm sure we'll refer the to that he says punch out oh they're, they're wrapped nicely in <laughs> plastic Wow, would you look at that. A lot of times, you get these punch outs are just sitting in there. These are wrapped up. You can do it. I can I do believe it. in you. All right. Just push that to the side. I know nothing yeah. about this game. I know nothing what to expect with it. So everything is like, and The box was very heavy. And this mm -hmm. is, uh, I think this is a big part of the reason this cardboard is, yeah, it's it's very, good, very solid, thick, and it's there's very a lot of it. And these are tiles that are going to create the house. And not to mention the artwork on it is very oh, good. It's it like, it's there's it's very 3D elements. Right. Uh, Looks like uh, these are two-sided. A lot of variation on this game. Mm -hmm. 
got tokens. I know that uh, oh, that one's ready. I was just ready to get started here. Uh, looks like a garden with some cobblestone and just an interesting thing. Awesome, awesome. Looks like a fountain. All right, the square it says. And some lantern tokens. I need those in dark places. All right. No, we have everything. And here's all the clue like tokens. Mo monsters. It's like monsters. Um, people. Uh, doors. Portraits. Symbols. But yeah, just all kinds of stuff. Fire. I know the basics of how this game works, but I have never played, so I don't know the details. So I'll yeah. learn what all that's about. No, I have to say, these are my favorite things about just about any game like this. Figures. Yay! Can I open it? Is that okay? Yeah! Okay? yeah. Like a bag of fun chips. Can we patent that? Can that be our thing? Fun chips? Fun chips? Yeah. Fun, fun chips. chips. I want a shirt that says that. Fun chips. All right. Okay. This guy can't be good. No. Well, he's, um... Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> okay. All right. I know, what's that, what's... I don't know if we want to do a shout out, but there's that one game channel that dumps everything out on the table. I ain't gonna do that. Uh, five pieces. Yeah, there's a... I won't break it. I love the detail on this. So good. different. Especially when you play, like, Wrath of a Shardalon or Legend of Drifts or, like, any of these games that have detailed figurines. These are very well done. And then for anybody out there that really gets into like maybe Warhammer or something like that, I guess you could paint these. You oh, could. Yeah, oh, I mean, I've seen people paint these. Yeah, that, um, I mean, yeah. I've never painted figures. I'm not sure I could do it. <laughs> I could. Good. Nah. So I probably won't mess with these. Yeah. Maybe uh, a couple of years down the road. Oh, okay. This I want to try funny. something new. I'll give it a shot. Alrighty. I will dump it out a time. Just, just, just yeah. to, just to yeah, yeah. get them out there quick. I don't want to take all day with this. I do like all the different. So that's, things. that's so cool. like the cultist. This is so, uh, yeah. Guy with an axe. That's always helpful. That's, yeah. This guy. I'm not sure stuck. if these are all bad guys or yeah. I think I'm guessing these are all yeah, bad guys. Yeah, probably. Whether, whether whether they're monsters. Obviously, or, the monsters are obviously the yeah. cultist and. Go with that. Yeah. Zombies. This guy's wearing like a pope hat. This is like just a. It's like a thug. Thug. Just a thug. Yeah. All right. Let's All right, uh, we can clear these up. Put them in, in here, here for now. Yeah. I need to get a container for those. <coughs> yeah. I don't like I'm getting shuffled around too much when we're carrying things around. Yeah. We like to go down. Uh, usually go on Tuesday nights down to our local game store, which is the Game Masters Guild here in Crestview, Florida. And we can put a link down in the description to a website if you want to check it out. It's an awesome game store, they have lots of area to play. And although we do play a lot of games here at the house, uh, sometimes it's nice to just get away and uh, be able to focus, you know, just on that. It's a great environment too. Great people all work there too. So, uh, yeah. And these are guess... um, these are bases okay, for that's the what figures. That's what I was what those are. All right, yeah. Bases for the figures. I've seen uh, enough of this to know what right. those are. Here's some dice. dice. Looks like these are right. the dice with the these are what, eight sided dice. Eight sided okay. dice. The uh, magnifying glass is uh, represents clue tokens. The elder sign, the star, is represents success when you're rolling for something yeah. and you need successes, whether to fight or overcome some challenge. Okay. So I think they're all eight sided. Yeah, right? looks like yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice little awesome. Dice. All right. And there's a black side, so there I guess is. you can get. That means you nothing. win automatically. Yeah. And anybody that argues with you, refer to this video. Or just share it and then, you know. Mansions of Mag. Oh, this Conversion is. Conversion kit. This is, because this is the second edition, this is a uh, conversion kit so that if you have the first edition, you're able to adapt those pieces and characters to be used in this game. So that's what that is. That's cool. All I right. do not have the first edition and won't be using that. Nope. Okay, these I believe are the actual characters you can play as, which is why I would assume they're separated. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's your so, right. There's going to be all the figures, and I uh, don't think we need to bother opening all these, but yes, these are the investigators. Mm -hmm. And I believe these would be the investigator like character cards right there. I mean, that's what it looks Perhaps. like to me. Looks that way. Yep. I got the crane. Well, let me open these. Hold on. That's fine. Let's see the others. Agatha Crane, Carson Sinclair, Father 
Matteo? Matteo. Min Tai Pan or Fan? Min Tai Pan or Fan? It's an Asian name I can't pronounce. Preston <laughs> Fairmont, <coughs> Rita Young, Wendy Adams, William Yorick. And back to Agatha Crane. Okay, character cards. These. I wanted to say this is these are the machete cards because there's a machete on it, but I think that's a little not quite what it is. These um, look to be like different. I don't know if you call them events or items or things assorted that will, things that will problems. come up during the game. Yeah. Yes, we'll learn more about the details of that. And then I guess these are. Uh, I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't really tell. I saw the end, other end of that, and that well, had a type of condition on it. So that could be. Looks like, like there's a variety of cards in here. Yeah. Let's, let's put this open as one of these. Yes. Because it looks like two different types of cards in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are. I know what some of these are. Uh, I think some of these are just items. Mm -hmm. uh, these are like um, wounds, psychological wounds. So okay. if you get too many of those, you're insane. Uh. These are the physical wounds, and they can go face down or face up, depending on what the game tells you to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what these are. I'm not sure about these top ones. They look like uh, um, items. Things. Just yeah. things. That will come up during the game. This is a very story-driven game, yeah. so uh, a lot of narratives and such. <clears throat> All right, and... Is that it? And it looks like it. There is box. There's cardboard. I don't think there's anything in these. No, there's not. Nothing but there. But if your child needs a cool, like, box science fair project thing... Then get your own, because I'm keeping this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I value my boxes. These are important boxes, right. yeah. So, so yeah, there we go. lots of cool stuff in here. Let's roll this under under our overhead can. Uh, lots of cool stuff in here. This is this is quite a heavy uh, mm -hmm. box. It's a lot, but yeah. it'll keep people entertained for a long time. I think it will. I'm really looking forward to this. I love the idea of the story-driven uh, scenarios and such. And so I am. I've been wanting this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Finally got it. Thank you very much to the person that gave it to me. You know who you are. <laughs> it was my mother, actually. So yeah. thanks, mom. I She's watching. It. She'll watch this. We can. We have, we'll send it to her. Probably not. But anyway, yeah. If I show it to her, she will. But anyway, yeah. um, Mansion of the Madness, second edition, an awesome game from what I've heard. Looking forward to playing it, and we'll definitely in the future be doing a playthrough of this, at least a, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a short one or some some clips at least. Yeah. And let uh, you know how it goes. Yeah, and feel free to comment below. Uh, ideas for games that you might want us to play or unbox, um, then make sure to follow our Instagram, and then once again, the link for Game Masters Guild will be down below. Please check them out. They're really, really cool. And, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks a lot, YouTube. Once again, this is Doug Jr. I am Doug the Third. And you're watching Doug, Doug and Doug, Doug Gaming. Gaming.